Uh, I got nothing in the mail today. I just wanted to show you this really quickly here. I don't know if you remember uh, Baywatch trading cards came out back in uh, 92 or something like that and I collected a whole bunch. One of these days when I get bored I'll show you my binder of them. They actually come with autographs but they're insanely hard to find. Um, I don't have any of the autographs. I busted so many packs of this stuff but that's not the purpose of the video anyway I got nothing in the mail today but I wanted to show you some interesting stuff that I picked up at the uh, local store here um, it's kinda like a target type of store it's a local chain for Oregon and Washington um, actually I'll show you this first um, this is a Y2K if, if you're old enough to remember Y2K this is a Y2K globe and uh, with a broken computer and you shake it and there's a ones and zeros floating all around and I thought that was really nice I picked it up at a Goodwill for 80 cents um, because glassware is 39 cents a pound of that particular one and it's kind of an unusual thing there they're not rare they're about five ten dollars on the internet um, but that's pretty fun there so um, but the, what I wanted to show you here are some cards that I got I bought these before I couldn't believe that they were this old they're from 2004 and they're X Games First Edition Series 1 cards. Um, I filmed some, uh, but I didn't open them. I mean, I didn't open up on the can. You know what I mean. I filmed them, but I didn't didn't post the video. And uh, I got the last two packs I had left. And um, some of them are neat like this. They're like die cut. And they have kind of like this uh, hologram. Not really a hologram, but kind of uh, changes color. Uh, I got Gretchen Blyler, unfortunately. Um, these were 99 cents a pack. Unfortunately, I think Gretchen Blyler has a huge smash on the corner. So it makes it, you know, uh, worthless. It's not worth grading or anything, but Gretchen Blyler is certainly somebody I've heard of. Uh, here's Carl Custer. We got uh, Drake McElroy. I don't know what these are worth. I forgot who made them, um, but they're neat looking cards and they come with several inserts, no autographs. Here's a, a Glare Morgan. Um, nice foil card there. That's one of the inserts. These are actually compared to a regular card. There's a regular card right there. They're pretty huge. Um, then we got one of these uh, checklists in every pack. It has some sort of advertisement. Uh, they're from 2004. Travis Rice, Jana Mayan. These are all, all X Games, uh, um, you know, snowboarders, skiers, uh, skateboarders, that sort of thing bicycle riders, BMXers I think and there's a few people I know in the set I got Sean White last time which is pretty cool and that's the only card I can find is Sean White so some of these are like rookie cards C.R. Johnson Jossie Oskinen or Jesse. here's a C.R. ooh this is neat I don't have any one of these these are rock and these are um, uh, see-through cards so you can see my finger through there. Um, this is C.R. Johnson, Cork 900, whatever that means. And that's a pretty neat card. Fortunately, again, it's damaged, but that's the first one of those I've gotten out of about five packs. And, and I don't see these on the internet very often. Uh, this is uh, Dane Kennard, Kennard, Blair Morgan. We got Steel Spence. We got Hannah Beeman. And we got another checklist. So that was a fun little break. The last two packs, 99 cents a card uh, pack for these XGX Games 2004. I'm pretty sure is what that is. 2003. I'm stand corrected. 2003. So that's what I purchased today. No mail today. And thank you for watching.